Hey everybody, today I got a new deck to show you. Last time I showed you my Infect deck. This one is one of the first decks I ever made on my own. And here I'll sort it out. We'll take all the lands out. Because nobody really cares about those except for the non-basic. But the idea behind it is to turn everybody else's stuff into artifacts and to steal it or blow it up whichever one works out better for me you'll notice we got some artifact lands in there and that's because I need metal craft for one of my spells I believe or one of my permanents but you got the good old counter spell. We got Teferi the Time Bender. Who he's foiling? We got the Michael Synth Lattice, which gives all permanents, artifacts, additions, and other types of things, things a lot easier. But casting costs six, so it's it's hard to get out. I don't have a lot of mana rocks in here. All cards that aren't on the battlefield, spells, and permanents are colors, and players may spend mana as though it were mana of any color. Sometimes that backfires on me. But here's my sack outlet, Claws of Gix, zero casting cost, pay one, sacrifice permanent, gain a life. And here's my my, my partner in crime, my Stealing Gale, <laughs> Magus of the Unseen. She uh, taps and add a colorless and a blue to untap target artifact and opponent gains uh, oh untap target artifact and opponent controls and gain control of it till end of turn if that artifact is an artifact creature it can attack and you may use any part of its ability to require a tap as part of the activation cost blah 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 blah, blah. when you lose control of the artifact tap it it's just a fancy way of saying it gives it haste and if I need to blow up people's artifacts I got the Shattering Spree. I can replicate it as many times as I want as long as I got enough red mana. Because the Sorcerer can only do it on my turn. But uh, Destroy Target Artifact. More Teferis. Just because who doesn't need more Teferis? It's just so uh, they can't counter my stuff on my turn. Another Closet Gix. Another Magus of the Unseen. Counter Spell. And this is just for, because um, this is a three color deck, it's red, white, and blue. This is basic land cycling. I can pay two, discard this, and search my library for basic land card, reveal it, put it in my hand. But also it's good because I don't have a lot of flyers in this deck. Uh, so options is always good. I can either make four one white birds or go get the land I need. Cause it gigs. Oh, Sahili Rai. She's very good for this deck. Uh, the first ability is not really what we're looking for. The second is create a token that's a copy of target artifact, creature I control, target artifact or creature I control. Except it's an artifact in addition to its other type. The token gains haste, exile it, gain the next end step. And next seven is search your library for up to three artifact cards with different names and put them onto the battlefield and shuffle your library. It takes a while to get up there, but it's really good for this deck when she works. Liquid Metal Coating, that's the thing that turns anything into an artifact, even a land. Which people don't like you stealing and blowing up their lands. Which tells me it's a good indicator that I should have it in there. Then we got Dove and Bond. I always had real trouble with this guy's name. I always want to call him like Donovan or something. But uh, he just lets you, I use him mainly to gain two life and draw a card. Of course, Fabricate, because there is a combo in here, and I'm going to show that to you here soon. Uh, the bad part about Fabricate is that you got to reveal it, then everybody gets their counter spells ready. But here's one half of the combo. You got the Painter Servant. Uh, when it comes into play, choose color. It don't matter what color they are, because all cards in, uh, that aren't in play, spells, and permanents, are chosen color in addition to their other colors. Because you go look for the grindstone, which is just what makes somebody 
mill endlessly because all the color, all the cards in the game are the same color. So they, I can pay three, tap it, and then put one of my opponents uh, on the mill train. <laughs> and this is what I need the metal craft for. Mana fixings. Beautiful mox opal. More shattering spree, cause kicks, more fabricates, counter spells. Oh, Vandal Blast. This is fun when I'm in a pinch. Just turn whatever I want into an artifact and then just do the overload co cost. <laughs> to destroy uh, each artifact I don't control. So all mine will be fine, but everybody else's is getting blown to smithereen. More shattering spree, more liquid metal coating. More Megas of the Unseen, more Fabricating, more local Metal Coating. Uh, Tezzer the Seeker, he's just in there for fun. He lets me go look for artifacts sometimes, but uh, I can turn all my, his Neg 5 is turning all my artifacts into 5-5 five, five artifact creatures to end a turn. So if all else fails, turns all the artifacts into 5-5s five, and just run them over. Dispatch, this is what I also need Metal Craft for. Just spot removal, one white instant, uh, if I control three more artifacts, exile target creature. Not bad for an uncommon. It's also from my favorite set, New Phyrexia. And then, okay, counter spell and another dispatch. I wish there was more room in the deck, but that's it. One of my, one of the decks I'm most proud of. That I made on my own that scares all my buddies. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll be coming at you with much more of my decks, my deck techs. Uh, if you want to let me know how I could make it any better, I'm always open to some suggestions. So go ahead and slap a comment down there. And if you like this video, please subscribe. I'm trying to get more subscriptions this year. <laughs>